What's up guys, it's Winter. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install SNES 360 on your RGH or JTAG. This is the easiest emulator to install and the other one is a little bit more complicated and I'm going to do that on the next video some other time. But today I'm going to be showing you how to install this one, the SNES, which is a Nintendo. Um... Super Nintendo emulator for Xbox 360 and it actually gives you achievements, a user face, stuff like that, turbo mode, right trigger and stuff. And on my Xbox right now is actually a it's like an indie game. Alright. So and to install this, you can either put this on a USB or Xbox 360 neighborhood. Now, I already did a tutorial on how to install um, Xbox 360 Neighborhood. If you do not have this installed, I will have a link below to go watch that. To go watch that, and it will show you how to install Xbox 360 Neighborhood. But on a USB, all you want to do is drag all this over and put it on your hard drive. And simple as that, all of this, and then just follow what I do from here. Alright, so, you want to go ahead and go to your JTAG, your HDD, Retail Hard Drive Emulator, and I already have it installed, but what you would do is just take this and drag it in. And after you drag it in, it will make two new files. It will give you this one, right here, which is not really important, it's just all the files that's used to run emulators. Not run them, but um, it saves your stuff. I don't recommend messing with that because that's not the most important file. Um, where is it at? This is the most important file, the SNES 360. Okay. Now there's a few games you can already have installed. Um, you run it like this right here. If you don't have any ROMs installed, you can still run it, which I will do now. You just want to click on it, and it will load up to the main screen called SNEX 360 and I'm gonna go ahead and give you all a preview of what that looks like. You should be looking at this screen. You can go click on games and you should not have any games installed but I'll already have a games installed. Now this is very important the type of game you install does matter. Let me go ahead and express that a lot. It does matter. Um any ROMs you download Here's a few I got. They have to end in SMC or they will not work. Um, if they are XEX or EXE, they will not work. Um, I have Kirby Super World, I mean Superstar, um, SMS. Mario Kart SFS does work. And all these do work. And what you just drag them on here and start on the thing and for instance I'm gonna go ahead and run Super Mario Kart and I'm gonna go ahead and go here go ahead and run it now I'm gonna screen catch you screen capture my bad and then boom press B to start or stuff like that oh no you don't just like normal Mario Kart you do have the turbo mode and screen capture again. Okay, as you see, you got everything. Player one, um, time trial or the Mario Kart, um, 50 or 100 CC, and you got all the um, all the maps. This is the original Mario Kart or Super Mario Kart, whatever you want to call it. Now to get out of that, let's say you don't want to play no more. You want to hit the two analog sticks down. Okay? And that will bring up another menu. It's called options. That's all it will bring up. Which you can either mute the sound, um, change your stuff, or save game, low game, reset, take preview, or exit game. And in my book, I'm just going to hit exit. And once you hit exit, it'll bring you straight back to the emulator ROM browser. Okay? Now to add ROMs, it's simple. I don't have no ROMs to install, 
But what we do, I'm just going to use a random file as an example here. You go to ROM files and you download a ROM. I'll have some links to go download them. Of course, and download a ROMs. What you want to do is take it and just drag it straight in and just drop it. And once it gets done, just back up and run it. All right, guys. Thank you all for watching. Um, hopefully this helps. If you have any other problems or you can't find the correct emulators, um, I had some time finding them, hard some hard times finding them, but they eventually showed up. All right, guys. Um, thanks all for watching. Uh, please leave a like, comment if you need any help. And yeah, guys, that's it. All right, guys. Thank you all for watching. I'll talk to you all later.